Praise the Lord. Uh, so today, uh, I have new prophetic words uh, that will require uh, corporate prayer. Uh, you know, one can put a thousand to flight, uh, but two can put ten thousands to flight. Uh, and so there is things that we need to pray about uh, that I'm going to talk about today uh, urgently uh, as the Lord is giving directives in the Spirit. So if you are an intercessor uh, for the nation of Israel, if you are an intercessor for the nation of Israel, uh, we're going to be required to pray uh, and to, uh, to try to intervene in the spiritual realm and be able to shut down some things uh, that the enemy is intending or the things that the enemy is planning um, against the, the nation of Israel. Um, and, and some of these things that I've seen uh, in the dream are very horrific. Now, let me begin by the first prophecy uh, that I want to give about the nation of Israel. Now, this is what the Lord spoke to me about Israel. Uh, the Lord says, my covenant with Israel is solid and will not be broken. I will restore my people. Their unity will be from through the wall. And the Lord says, I will expand their territory. So through these wars, um, God is going to cause Israel to expand the territory. And then... The Lord also spoke to me and he said, America will build a base. I know that currently there's about 100 uh, U.S. soldiers, uh, you know, in Israel helping with uh, TAD, uh, the, the thermal high altitude, uh, you know, um, anti-missile uh, system uh, that is being installed uh, in Israel. But what I saw was also... Uh, that America uh, was able to build a base uh, near the Golan Heights. So this is what I saw. I saw a U.S. base, a U.S. military base at the Golan Heights. So it wasn't just the, the THAAD missile system uh, being installed uh, in Israel. I also saw the U.S. Uh, you know, base at the Golan Heights. And I think this is a good idea uh, because the only ally... Uh, the only close ally that the United States has in the Middle East, uh, you know, is Israel. Uh, so why not? Why not construct a base in Israel as a deterring factor uh, in this war? And so what I saw and what God showed me is that the U.S. built a base, uh, a military base at the Golan Heights. Uh, so that's going to happen at some point. Um, I had the Lord saying that did I not give Abraham all the land? Did I not give Abraham all of the land? Did I not give Abraham all of the land? And so when you see Israel expanding their territory, uh, they're basically just following on the directive uh, that God had already given to, to Abraham. The Lord said that Israel will thrive again. She will bloom and flourish. And God said he will restore a good relationship between Israel and America in the coming days. Amen. Now, the last thing that I want to speak about this prophecy for Israel um, is the discovery of oil and natural gas. All right. Now, in the past, I'd given a prophecy about where exactly in Israel, where they were going to find uh, oil. Uh, there is a balance coming to the Middle East. And the balance is coming to the Middle East through the oil. Israel is not going to lack anything that they need to do what they need to do. And so this is what the Lord showed me. He showed me that Israel is going to discover oil in diverse places. In the coming days, there's going to be oil explorations and they're going to discover oil at diverse places. But one specific place, listen, 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 Israeli government, uh, listen, leaders of Israel, don't despise the prophetic word, don't ignore it. 
so far the Lord has been very precise uh, with prophetic words for Israel. Now, this is what the Lord said, that he wants to bring a balance in the Middle East where Israel will not depend on anybody, but Israel will become the envy of nations. For this to happen, Israel must prosper. Israel must become wealthy. Now, this is what I saw. And I'm going to show a map uh, just in a minute. I'm going to show you a map here. I saw oil being discovered, oil and natural gas in diverse places. But I saw a specific place where the oil was discovered. Now, the place that I saw oil being discovered in Israel is a place called the En Gedi, right? The En Gedi, right? Many of you know the En Gedi. It's, it's a beautiful oasis uh, in the wilderness in Israel. Now, it's at En Gedi that I saw Israel discovering natural oil. It, it, it was, there was a lot of it, all right? The discovery was great. It was a big news uh, in Israel. Listen, I, I, I saw some uh, gas companies uh, that were daring enough uh, to obey this prophetic word and go into the area for exploration. I saw them discovering oil and natural gas, and Israel would thrive. You know, so from this, uh, listen, from, from the discovery of oil and natural gas, I saw Israel thriving and becoming a great nation that did not depend on support from other nations, but was rich enough to purchase its own things. Israel was thriving and flourishing through this oil. And the Lord said that it is through this oil that he wants to bring a balance of wealth in the Middle East, especially to Israel. Do not rely on men or nations, for your God is about to give you wealth from beneath your ground so that you can thrive. The covenants that God has with Israel are solid and they will not be broken. So again, I'm prophesying discovery of oil in Israel. All right. So at the place of En Gedi, at this place called En Gedi, they're going to discover oil and natural gas. And they're also going to find more natural springs. There's going to be more natural springs being discovered at the end gate. Amen. So that is the prophetic word that I wanted to share about Israel.